Nicole here of Yoga Doctors TV. I wanted to jump on today because uh, I feel like I'm on a mission to spread this information as far and as wide as I can. Um, I've been a physical therapist since 2000, 2006 and um, I really just recently have I like come into like a full, um, a much more full understanding of uh, how some of these issues are um, are influenced by how we move and how we exercise and how we live and so I want to um, address these specific topics okay hernias um, diastasis recti which is when pregnant women get uh, a tear in the linea alba in the front of their abdomen um, you don't have to be pregnant to get it um, disc herniations pelvic floor dysfunctions like incontinence uterine prolapse bladder prolapse um, and sexual dysfunction so all of these things have a common denominator and the common denominator is pressure it's how much pressure we are putting in the abdomen and in the pelvic cavities so if you think about um, how all of your abdominal organs are lined they're lined with uh, this lining called uh, this membrane called your uh, peritoneum and if you think about that peritoneum like a, a balloon-like structure, my teacher Angie Mueller uh, describes it like a balloon-like structure, any pressure, and this is called Pavlov's theory of pressure, any pressure that you put on any side of that balloon is gonna cause equal pressure around that balloon, okay? And so anything um, that you can think of where things are coming out, okay, like hernias, right? Um, diastasis recti, uh, prolapse, where things are coming like out of the abdominal lining. Um, this is because of too much pressure in the abdomen and the pelvic cavities. And I wanted to jump on because this, this is actually, there's a new method, it's called hypopressive breathing and low pressure fitness. And it is specifically designed to decrease pressure in the thoracic, pelvic, and abdominal cavities, okay? And so this is absolutely necessary whenever you're dealing with any of these types of issues because it doesn't matter what a therapist um, you know, gives you to help you, if you keep doing things that increase pressure in the abdo abdomen and, uh, and pelvic cavities, like crunches and leg lifts and running and jumping, um, you know, all of these things will continue to add to your, your issue. It's not to say you can't ever do them again, it's just that um, you have to get your body back to a place where you can act, it can actually um, kind of counterbalance the pressure that you're putting on it. So this hypopressive breathing method is so amazing because all it does, it, it widens your, your diaphragm to its maximum capacity. So you're actually breathing into the side ribs versus belly breathing, okay? And then on the exhale, um, as you exhale through the mouth really, really slow, you do not contract the abdominals like we're often taught the opposite of, but you, you do not contract the abdominals. And then you pause the breath when the, when the lungs are empty and then you do a passive lift of a relaxed abdominal wall, okay? So it's like a suction. In yoga, I truly believe this is what Uddiyana Bandha really is. I think it's been lost in translation where people say pull the belly up and in and they, they do that consciously, but it's actually, um, it's supposed to be done reflexively. And so this is what this breath does, is that it actually uh, widens the rib cage, so it gives your diaphragm a lot of space. You exhale out all the air in such a way that you're not contracting your abdominal muscles so that the diaphragm lifts up and it's pulling the pelvic organs off of the pelvic floor. And then you do a passive lift, it's like a false inhale. If you were to plug your nose and inhale, widen your ribs, you'll get a suctioning up of your abdominal wall. And what that does is lifts your pelvic organs off of the pelvic floor, okay? So then the pelvic floor muscles become unweighted, okay? So when the pelvic floor muscle is loaded, it's going to be um, really tight, trying to hold up the weight of your organs, right? So think prolapses, um, incontinence, any kind of sexual dysfunction, the, the, it's a pelvic floor dysfunction, so meaning the pelvic floor can't fully relax or fully contract, and that's often because it's holding up the weight, the weight of your pelvic organs. And so the only thing to actually help it is to get the weight to unload the weight of the pelvic organs off of the pelvic floor. And that's what this method does. At the same time, it turns on your deepest core muscles, your diaphragm, your, your deepest core, your transverse abdominis and your pelvic floor muscles, which are all part of your uh, respiratory system. Um, all part of uh, your deep core. Okay, it turns those muscles on um, reflexively, 
meaning automatically, involuntarily, which is how they're supposed to work for us anyways, and it turns them on synergistically, meaning all together, all at once. So that has to happen, okay, for any of that stuff to get better. So we're taught in physical therapy school and yoga trainings, fitness certifications, whatever, you know, we're taught this, how to, how to isolate transversus abdominis, how to isolate pelvic floor, how to isolate, you know, multifidus, these deep core muscles, but really um, we have to get them to work all together because if we're just pulling the belly in towards the spine, we're doing that consciously and that's not how those muscles um, are meant to work. Those meant to work reflexively. They're meant to turn on for us a split second before we do any of our, you know, gross movements um, with our bigger muscles and so that's how they have to um, be trained. And so I've been personally doing this practice, this hypopressive breathing and low pressure fitness uh, myself for two months straight now. And it is completely changing the, the resting tone of my abdominal wall and my, my pelvic floor. It feels like being lifted up like from the inside out. Okay. So um, the other thing that it does too, if you have anything like hernias or diastasis, recti, right, where things are coming out like of the abdominal lining of, and um, if you have any of that stuff then this this technique works really well because it's eccentrically training your abdominal wall and your postural muscles. Eccentric meaning it's lengthening and lengthening and contracting the muscles at the same time. So that um, eccentric uh, lengthening and contracting is actually what heals tissue. So if you have torn tissue as in like hernia or diastasis recti, that eccentric contraction is actually what um, is going to heal it, okay? So that, I could go on and on about this method because I'm so pumped about it because uh, it just works really, really well. And um, I'm teaching a workshop uh, May 12th uh, in San Diego, May 20th in Pensacola, Florida, and I'm gonna go teach it for three days in Ireland after that. And uh, I'll, I'll be soon coming up with a, an online training to get this information out there because I really truly believe it needs to be out there to all physical therapists, um, occupational therapists, fitness instructors, yoga instructors, and especially, especially uh, people that are suffering from any of these issues like um, moms, postpartum moms, women who are wanting to prepare their body for pregnancy, super, super effective method. So um, let me know if you have any questions about any of this stuff, anything that I said, I'd be happy to support you. Um, and I'm just happy to get this information uh, out to people. And um, PM me your email if you'd like to get updates for when the online training will be ready. I'm thinking mid to late June. Um, or if you're in any of those areas and would love to come to a workshop. So please uh, leave any comments below. And um, I really hope this information supports you. All right, aloha.